this class we are going to see how to uh, manage cost uh, so you have to assign the cost first so here these are the activities okay put expenses so this is the cost of the project total cost of the project so we have two methods to add assign cost to our project this is our method one okay so method two you can see here so go to status okay and you see here we have different cost is labor cost non labor cost and material cost so normally for a project if you know the labor cost non labor cost and material cost you can get the budget cost labor cost you are going to give it to labors a non labor means for uh, machineries like uh, equipment you can buy you see in the side to execute the project for example for crane uh, and uh, hoist and uh, some uh, excavator etc so it's a non labor cost and the material cost material cost is like a uh, uh, steel sand cement wood uh, so these are the material cost so we have three type of cost if you know we know the exact cost for labor cost to assign this activity structural drawings or uh, uh, work construction activities structural work okay this is assigned here over here labor cost is here so on the uh, non labor cost is here and material cost is material cost did in assign so so if you know if you clear about this cost if you if you have be work bill of quantity okay you can extract data you can get input you can get input from boq bill of quantity for all projects in some project we cannot see uh, a proper uh, tracking method for this cost so in this case uh, we are uh, we are uh, we, we have to choose an another option uh, expenses so in this expenses we can not our uh, total budget cost here you can see we are at we want to add total budget cost just add it can 125000 so <coughs> this method we can add our budget cost by like this way for all activities okay so this is the type of uh, assigning our budget cost to our uh, activities well now uh, so we assigned cost for all activities you can see here so this is what is cost for you can see we assign some cost to where expenses here okay so we assign a uh, cost for all activities budget cost budget cost means total cost including labor material and non labor so now i want to open a column and i want to show you a column right side of this portion okay what uh, go to, go to <coughs> cost budget at expenses cost Yeah, this activity. 
property has a value of uh, labor cost and uh, non labor cost okay so like this way we can uh, include a column okay so if you want to remove the column do it like this way if you want to search here uh, where meaning of uh, let's say for example producer produces opportunities so now we should be spelling wrong let's say okay. so now so in this way we can get If you don't know the column, the right column, how to, because we here many col columns so there, so you don't know, but you know the word, how to open it. So just uh, type the word on it and uh, get it what you, need, what you need. For example, for the end value, you want to go end value cost. end value is only applicable after doing updating the work okay now the now the project is not yet updated so it won't display any value once it updated the end value will display what's end value end value is budgeted cost work performed the performed cost is called end value actual cost we have one more column is actual cost actual cost means um, the cost uh, from the account department or the QS department, we can say. So this is a billing amount. So you are claiming, for example, you are claiming hundred thousand real, hundred thousand dollars, but you got only uh, ninety thousand for approval. So the certified amount, the approved amount, is called actual cost. But the claimed amount, hundred thousand, is called end value cost. So now you understand the difference between the end value and actual cost. So once you update this program, you can get the end value, actual cost, budget at complete and budget to complete, CTC or CAC, you can get only uh, after updating the project. So now we are, may we are developing a baseline program, this is called baseline program, okay. Once you create the baseline program, just go to project, automated baseline, add, save a copy of current project as a new baseline is asking can i save this project this 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 uh, screen uh, as a baseline project if you want you can give it else if you have any other project uh, to give a baseline you can choose this option so normally the default option is save a copy of current project okay 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 so now it is saving this project as a baseline means what okay if you want to update this project uh, after that uh, more options there go to project and assign baseline here assign your current baseline okay the same one uh, I will tell you again okay maintain baseline okay you, you copy this current project as a baseline project okay just close it go to project and assign baseline so the same project what you assigned as baseline select it in the primary and the project baseline both in both row select the baseline project and give ok so now you set a baseline project so if you want to update the project we have two different methods to update a project so tools update progress if you want to update your desired uh, date you can select the date apply we give apply the project will update automatically okay yes if you want to update these activities one by one for example so this is structural material so this completed put status okay uh, started in first June and 
the finished in 16 uh, June. Okay, for example, for this project started in uh, 1st June. Okay, so milestone 100% completed. Okay, and uh, this is shop branch submission. We started in um, 3rd of June, submit the date, select, select, and total this. Okay, they are June and it gives a percentage for this one, 45 percentage. And finishing work, let's see, 4th of June, give uh, 35 percentage. That's MVP work, MVP work, you can see. you can update the program progress of work and uh, so so we have uh, two method one is uh, automated updated progress so if you choose this option the premier will uh, update this program automatically this is uh, the another option is doing updation by manually so suggest so uh, better this uh, you select this second option go to second option to do with manual updating work so this will be a realistic one so this this will give a real figure to drag on it and uh, so what mean this one the project start on the same date and uh, we submitted some drawings and also we procured we procured some materials Okay, procure some materials after approving, appro after getting approval of this uh, shop drawing. Normally, we, are, we need to get uh, uh, approval at least of uh, 14 days or 21 days, depending upon the consultant and the contract agreement. Okay, uh, so normal contract agreement uh, spacing with consultant is uh, 7 to 14 days to uh, get approval of a drawing after submitted. Uh, so so this thing uh, so here we can see third june is of submission date just calculate uh, 10 days so make it 13 june or 14 june over here 14 june it's 14 june friday so 15 june we got some approval so so we got uh, Forty percentage of submission you can say thirty percentage of approval till date. Finishing material we submit to the same date now fourth June. So for fourth June you can fix for sixteenth or fifteenth June. So how much percentage is there? Finishing work. 35 percentage, make it uh, 25 percentage. So this percentage you can get from uh, document controller. Okay, so he will give the correct figure. So I give materials uh, 3 June, start at 3 June, make it uh, 10 days after. update the program and uh, after updating the program once it finish there's no more updation just go to fill go to schedule and uh, select your data date now where you are if you are in uh, uh, 17 June or uh, 18 June select it 85 some 18 June you are in 18 June select it and the schedule so now the program is updated so now we can see the column of end value is showing some value this value called budgeted cost work performed okay so we can remove this uh, producer column so we have a budget expenses cost end value cost If you want to add some more color, estimate at complete, estimate to complete.
quantitative cost, this is end value, the means actually this is uh, the performed value. Uh, so we can say uh, this is the this is our work, work done value we can say. And uh, this is our actual cost. Actual cost we have to assign. So this is from uh, QS department, get the value from QS department and uh, we have to assign manually for this actual cost. So where you can assign the actual cost, what expenses here actual cost you can you can assign uh, for actual cost for this activity like uh, so the <coughs> budget cost is fifteen thousand end value six thousand means forty percentage of this end value and actual cost is uh, four thousand five hundred which is a certified amount okay and this estimate to complete and uh, budget and complete so this way this is uh, this topic will uh, talk, talk in uh, we can I, I can teach you next classes because this is a very big topic so we have to uh, have to calculate uh, some formulas so we can see next classes this is cost variance so this one also we can see next classes.